Who likes AI writing tools? Today, we're going to check out Katib. Uh, Kateb, Kateb. I think it's Kateb. Kateb? I don't know. I can't pronounce the name of the tool. I'm sorry about that. But I guess I'll call it Kateb. So this AI writer has a lot of stuff going on and a lot of potential. They've been doing a lifetime deal here and there on AppSumo. I know that they've had some updates. They have a new version three here. They added some design, AI images. It's a nice all-in-one AI writing tool. So let's take a look at it. You can either go through the dashboard up here or over here. Down here, it shows the drafts, previous content that Kateb has produced for me. We could start over here with the writer. You can do a brief. You can use the assistant headlines. You want to do some snippets, blog intro, real estate description. You can see all the stuff here. So a lot of options. Google ads. Say so you want to use the assistant. This is sort of like a uh, chat GPT substitute. What is a web sign? And then down here, we could also select the data source. If you just want it by default to use the Kateb system, or you can use Google, the internet, YouTube, Amazon product snippets, or if you just want to give it a URL, let's we'll just keep it default for now. And then here, third person, second person, first person, professional. Tone of voice you'd like, sarcastic, happy, paragraph, listical, FAQ. Let's just do right. It's thinking. Web design first in process of creating web and designing websites. All right. So you gave it, get an answer right there. It's great. You want to do, let's use the, let's use the easy writer, which is basically the article writer. I had something in here, light bulbs. First, let's delete what's there. Get, add to it if we'd like, but make it clean. The longer the prompt, probably the better, but let's just try light bulbs, professional. And this time, let's use the internet as a source. This is something pretty unique for an AI writer to have this easy interface of switching what your source is. So think about that if you're thinking about Kateb. Let's do Google. It's preparing, fact-checking, and now writing. Now it produced this, good content. Where this AI writer comes in and tries to stand out from the rest is that it fact-checks the content as it's written. It usually will have citations or references down here. Now I've been running into this problem since I started using this tool last week. Some days it just doesn't produce references or citations. So I've contacted support about it and haven't heard back. This is also another big issue I'm having with Kateb is that support is not really responsive. Uh, I don't know if it's because they're fixing the platform. They're very busy, the holiday season, but it's been a bit frustrating. So kind of torn on whether I want to continue using this product. Or is it going to stick around? What's the plan? Let's go back here. So let's contact support. This is support area. Hi again. I am doing a video review now on Kateb. Yeah, let's see if it gets back to us. All right, so we have over here the article rewriter, which I'm not a fan of. I've tried that you can basically copy and paste an article in here that you find online or a link, and it'll rewrite it. Try passing it through Copyscape or other plagiarism tools. And it it's usually 30% or higher plagiarism on most articles. So that's not really good, not useful. The article writer version two is what everyone was familiar with before. 
you would enter in the headline, you can language, everything here, but let's, let's go to the version three. So let's just go right in here and do best beaches to visit in, in the world. We could even just type beaches and that'll probably work, but let's do data source again, Google English, United States start. Now, Kateb has options for words, characters, uh, limits per month, a usage. You can also connect your open AI key so that you have basically unlimited and you pay as you go from your open AI account you can do either one. If you want to use your own key, uh, you'd have to get the plan, the tier three plan on AppSumo, or you pay extra, I believe on the subscription for Kateb. You can check that out. So here came back with some stuff, uh, the different topics we can write about gives you some, some nice places to start. Oh, another thing also in account settings, you can, you could add your key here, preferences. You could change what model you want to use 3.5 or 4.0. We'll just leave it 3.5. You could also change concise or detailed interface, light mode, dark mode, always dark mode. You could also change the dark mode up top. Save preferences. Let's go back to the three. Oops, I lost what I put in. Let's see if it's in drafts. I'm curious. Nope. All right, let's do it again. Let's just type beaches this time. See what comes back. All right, so you have beaches. Ultimate guide to family friendly beaches to unleash the fun. Best beaches for dogs. And this is great also because it gives you like topical clusters and help with that authority. You can actually create articles for all of these if you want, or some, or here and there. If if you want to rank for beaches, have more blog posts about beaches. Kateb will give you a head start on that. Uh, let's just say we want to do bike and beach, a cyclist paradise. Click on this one. We can go here, suggest outline. And here we go. Here's the outline. You can edit the outline. If you don't like something, remove something. Add article guidelines, tone of voice, straightforward. Let's make it happy. Third person. Sure. Why not? If you have any keywords you'd like to add, to pre-optimize your article, copy, paste from Surfer or Doron Writer, you could put in here or just add them yourself. Uh, you could add up to five SEO keywords to target and then your word count. And if you don't want to exceed the limit, you just click on this. Let's do 900 to 1200. Continue. And again, it'll ask you if you want to change your model but we'll keep it at that. And if you want to add a featured image, you can add that. You could add an image per section. It's going to pull it from Google, but you could use these other options as well. Maybe we'll just use pixels, see how that shows up. Start writing. Now also over the past few days, maybe even longer, the writing progress uh, has taken a bit longer, especially if you're using uh, GPT-4, but 3.5 even, it's users are reporting that it's taking longer to process. May pause the recording and I'll come back when it's uh, finished. Okay, article completed. Let's view the article. Here we go. And we have references this time. Excellent. So. This is pretty helpful. Everything that, well, almost everything has a reference. When you're using the internet mode, you can click on and it'll go to the reference, the URL. Or you can just click down here and it'll show you all of them. You can hide the citations or show them. So you can find a reference for everything. And you see the content, it's good. Now up here, fact claims, 
and you can Google it. It looks like the auto fact check is coming soon. In links, don't have any websites set up yet for that. You can proofread or plagiarism check. Let's proofread. Okay. Spelling mistake. Introduction. Spelling mistake. Beach. These don't look like spelling mistakes, but you can click ignore. So that's a little bit of a bug. Unless I don't know how to spell anymore. I don't know. I like to draw more than write, so could be some spelling mistakes here and there. Now there's also the plagiarism checker. I don't know how accurate this is as well, because I have used other tools like Copyscape, which are great. Uh, copy and pasted the content in there, and it was fine. Kateb's plagiarism tool will actually, at times, show more plagiarism than a great tool like Copyscape shows. So that's interesting. And it's checking. You can see down here, so far, the unique percentage and anything that's plagiarized. So if you're looking for an all-in-one with kind of everything in one spot, again, this one has potential. But uh, there are some issues with load time, some bugs with the references, citations, the rewriter, a couple things here and there. The support, lack of support. If you have questions, don't expect to get a response quickly. If they can put a support team in place, I think that would help a lot. Communication is key, especially with young SAS tools and AI writers. As you can see, this is taking a while. Not exactly a quick process, but I'm sure they'll get the bugs out and hopefully speed it up in the future. Okay, it's taking a while, so I'm just going to X out of it. Some content, it'll check quicker than others. And I guess certain times a day. But you get the idea. Now you have your own editor built in here. You can print it. You can, you know, bold, change format style, add an image. Let's go back to here. Here's a chat. Let's do a new chat. Switch to internet again. What is pizza made of? It's thinking. Pizza is made of pizza dough that typically includes flour, yeast, wool, water, salt. Okay, cool. There you go. So you have your own little chat GPT thing going on over here. Let's go back to the home. So if we have a URL, uh, a website, web page that we want to base an article off of, we would just use that copy paste in there. We could try the YouTube writer. Let's paste a YouTube video. Confirm. Please enter a YouTube URL. Well, it is a YouTube URL, but it seems this is another bug in Kateb. This is the share URL used by YouTube. Let's try just the regular URL. Okay, so got that. Let's see what it does. Well, that's not good. Let me see. It didn't give a message, so let's just see if it's loaded. What this video about? Okay. So we put it right into the chat, but see, I didn't know that it even loaded the video. It's called incognitum, incognitum, but I mumble a lot, so that could be on me. All right, so that's a little strange that it went to there, I guess, because we were in the chat. If I want, let me try doing it from here. There are some nice options here, though. Video script. Could just do it here. I oh, know this helps structure the video, eh, so I won't do that. So you get the idea. Let's try to design 
part. I was trying this the other day. It didn't really work. Cat playing hockey. All right. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Cat playing hockey. Hey, there you go. He's got a broken stick, but he's, he's cute. So that works. All right. It worked today. Very exciting. So there you go. You got your little, your AI images. Uh, did it save? It has a daily usage of 20. So it doesn't save automatically. So yeah, I'd have to hit that save button. And here's my usage for that. So this is the main writer that I would use right now is the version three, or you can go into the writer over here and change this to what you need. You know, real estate description, Facebook posts, paraphrasing. So there's a lot of tools in one here. The easy, the essay writer, I keep calling it easy writer. Essay writer is good. And then if you want the chat or the assistant in here, you can use those kind of like a chat GPT substitute. So yeah, check out Kateb it has potential. Like I said, the support has been lacking. See what you think. Let me know. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.